yourself a northerner or a southerner? Chances are you might be thinking, I'm from the Midwest. 150 years ago, many from our area considered themselves border people. Times have changed, but historians argue progress has come with a price in Missouri, a price that endangers our heritage, especially for African Americans. She got a haircut and she covered her head. She was a female freedom fighter who disguised herself during the Civil War. These were original Buffalo soldiers who were 11 were. A.J. Byrd is president of the Clay County African American Legacy, housed inside the Garrison Historic School District in Liberty. He's giving us a history lesson. Oftentimes we don't know our own history, particularly our children. Preservation is extremely important. Byrd's wife, Teresa, also strongly believes we should know our heritage. Through that knowledge, uh, you're more secure as to who you are and where it is that you want to go. She, too, is part of the legacy group that put up this memorial on the Liberty Square. The plaque aims at the heart of every American's heritage, the fact that slaves built our roads, churches, schools, and economy. People are so distant from that, they don't realize the struggles that the African-American people and, and the white settlers went through in order to settle this area. Historian and author Gary Finhausen has researched the Civil War in Missouri for more than 30 years. Years. He's written books, collected drawings, photos, and artifacts. He says high school Civil War history that teaches the North against the South isn't that simple in Missouri because Missouri was complicated. While Missouri never seceded, there were more than 1,000 bloody battles, often pitting neighbor against neighbor. So they were North, German, Southern, and Southern, but pro-North, you know, so it was a diversified state. The largest plantations and slave owners in the state were concentrated in Northern Missouri. The federal census shows Lafayette County had the most slaves, about 6,300. Jack Jackson County ranked 8th with nearly 4,000, Clay County 10th with nearly 3,500, followed by Platte County with 3,300. Cash crops of tobacco, hemp, and cotton tended by slaves made these Missouri families rich. The economy before the Civil War was definitely controlled by Southerners. After the war, property owners in a string of northern counties from Kansas City to St. Louis remained rooted in their Southern culture. They called themselves Little Dixie. Eventually, the economy went around Little Dixie by way of the Union Pacific Railroad, building north to St. Joseph and south to Kansas City. Five years after the war, Casey grew into the 38th largest city in the country. Finhausen says much from that period in history has been lost forever. He works with African Americans to research their ancestry back to the Civil War. He says their heritage is often gone, bulldozed in the name of progress. People who are trying to find this information are not able to find it because it's being destroyed. This room has had a lot of water damage coming through what used to be a chimney. What's left of Civil War properties in Missouri, like this homestead, remain threatened by progress and lack of interest. This room was most likely the original kitchen. Steve Potter with Mid-Content Library shows us around Woodneath. The library owns it and plans to turn it into an events facility connected to a modern library. People can see it and they can live a little bit of it as they come here to pick up their latest Harry Potter book. While adapting this relic will help preserve it in some fashion, for historians, the efforts represent compromise. It's, it's all a reflection of, of some of the attitudes and, and what people want in the cities. Adapting historic properties takes them off historic registries, which renders them unprotected. It's a constant worry for people like the birds and historians. It's so hard to try to explain to people about history when there's nothing there to show them. Now, you'll find more information on our website. We have posted an interactive map created by our partners at Scripps Howard News Service. You can research your county there, and you can also send us your pictures and stories if you know of a property that should be registered or might be endangered. Just go to NBCActionNews.com slash Civil War.